Hello, 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 and welcome to a quick video at the end of my stream that I just want to show my own votes for the Anime Awards 2022, which is, as it says here, the fourth year of Anime Chan Awards. Just a reminder, my channel is called Anime Chan, not because I am Anime Chan, it is my anime channel. I had a different channel where I did vlogs and then I I started doing reactions because I didn't have any money left to do vlogs, like go anywhere. I had to do videos at home. <laughs> uh, and then pe I said, you know, what do you guys want to see? What kind of content? And people were like, oh, please react to this and that and that. And then later I also wanted to do anime videos and then I made a second channel and I called it my anime channel. The AE in the middle is just because I thought it was cute. It sounded cute, anime chan. Anyway. So that is why it's called Anime Chan, by the way. And this is based only on the shows I watched in 2023. Okay, it says 2023 there, but that's a typo. It should be 2022. On New Year's Eve, after we celebrated in the stream, I said happy 2024 everyone on my Instagram stories. So clearly my typos are greater than Boa's forehead. If I didn't, so if I didn't see an anime in 2022, it can't win Anime of the Year award. So yes, here is my my own vote because I just get one vote like everyone else. So for newcomer of the year, the best show that started just one the first season or or just the one season in this year last year, I will vote for. The one, I know it's a bit basic and I know everyone's going to vote for it, but it was the most hype to me. I loved Cyberpunk, but and I loved Spy Family, and I loved My Dress of Darling, and I really enjoyed Sa Sabi Kuibisko, and I'm loving Li Licorice. I'm only on episode 8. But the one that brought me the most hype, Chainsaw Man. Anime of the Year, um, the ones that are season 2 and more... So, if I had to choose one single one, it would either be Attack on Titan or Bleach. I mean, I'm so happy with Bleach's return. But Attack on Titan is Attack on Titan, you know? How can you even choose? See, it was Bleach's return after a very long time. So, it kind of felt like a season one, like an intro to the... The Thousand Year Blood War arc. Whereas Attack on Titan is like at its end. So it's just that much more epic in every single episode. In every single moment. And like, and the reveals that were happening. So for me, it's very barely different. Bleach got more tense from you than Attack on Titan did. But I'm biased for Bleach because of nostalgia. I'm not biased for Attack on Titan. I am very critical of it. And its characters. So it, even, even though I like Bleach more, anime of the year, the one that really makes waves to me with regards to writing and everything. Like I said, Bleach is my number one, biasedly, but if I'm trying to be more objective here, Dark Shadow says, I was torn between Attack on Titan and Bleach 2. In the end, I went with Attack on Titan because the story is at a peak right now. Exactly. Cherry says, I voted Licorice because it aired at the same at the time when I needed it the most. I really enjoyed watching it week to week, but I'll be happy when, I mean, if Chainsaw Man wins. <laughs> so that was for the previous one. Um, so yeah, I'm going with Attack on Titan here. Then Anime of the Year... Excluding seasonals, for me it's a tie between Full, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, Gintama and Shippuden because, I mean, I, I finished Shippuden, I finished Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood and I loved it, but Gintama, that kind of made its way up to this year, didn't it? Wasn't this year the first time it got into my top three and then briefly my f number one? Because, you know, there's not really ever a, a, a true number one, but in moments when you're watching it and, it and it makes those waves and you're like, 
you know, you're number one, but yeah, you can never have a true number one. What about Jahi? Jahi was nice. It was nice. I was biased and I gave it to Eden Zero. Also a good choice. I loved, I loved all of these shows. Um, Gintama was amazing. Comedy wise, emotion wise. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood story, amazing. Gurren Lagann blew me away with anger and the sadness and the joy. <laughs> Classroom of the Elite was good in season one, but not really amazing. Shippuden. I mean, I had the, I had this, uh, my ups and downs with the fandom, but the story was very good, and it's, you know, it's a long form shonen, so you get really attached to the characters, and that is where my love for Shippuden lies is with the characters. Devil's a part timer season one was very good. Jahi was very good. Haruhi Suzumiya was a great experience to watch, although the main character frustrated me. <laughs> Apuela Maji Madoka Majika, amazing experience to watch. Pretty Boy Detective Club, a lot of fun, and I've wanted to watch it for so long. Eden Zero, I mean, I'm a super, I'm a super fairy tale fan, so that was just like almost a similar feeling with Bleach, where it's kind of like biased because of that nostalgia. But not as strong as Bleach because Bleach was one of the first shows I watched when I was 16 and I only got into fairy tale uh, s five years ago, five, four and a half, or, no, five years ago. It was one of the shows that got me back into anime. Um, and then Case Study of Vanitas, I loved it. I love that. So enjoyable. Gintama stood out this year. Easy vote for me. It made it to my number one in 2022. So yeah, I'm also going with Gintama, even though I, I really enjoyed everything that I watched this year. I don't think I dropped anything. Was there any anime that I dropped? I don't think so. Okay, Best Boy 2022. Oh, there are so many good boys. But it's probably a tie between Ichigo and Denji. Denji, because Ichigo is like my OG and he's the goodest of good boys. But Denji is more compelling at the moment because his story is just starting out. And like there's so much... This just my head explodes when I think about everything that's going on in Chainsaw Man and I just want Denji to, to be happy. Oh. Hi, Paul R. Pol, Pol, Polar. I was thinking of Genshin and wanted to say Polarm. And it's polar, polar bear mix. Thank you for the follow. I picked Ichigo on this poll. I'm gonna go with what, I mean, mob. Mob deserves to win. Reagan. For Lloyd, Forger. Those are, those are Ichigo, Denji. Mob, Reagan, and Lloyd. Those are the ones for me. But how? How do I choose one? How do I choose one? Polar. Polarm. I wanted to say Polarm because of Genshin. <laughs> these, best po these best boy poles don't work for me when Levi is on it. Oh yeah, Levi is on this one. <laughs> I'm gonna... Like I said... Ichigo will win I, when it's the end of Bleach, I can tell. And, and Ichigo, in a biased way, I love him so much. But Mob had his big finale. Reagan he had so much growth. Lloyd is fucking basically trying to save the world here, okay? And, and, Den and Denji, he's just so relatable and realistic and I, I want to hug him. So it's so difficult. I'm going to go with Reagan. That finale moment was just, I'm so glad because of his growth. Like that's the kind of growth I want to see in characters because it was during season two where I was really mad at Reagan and then all his fans were so mad at me. I was like, fuck all of you. He needs to grow. And then boom, there at the end, that was what I wanted to see. And then he did, so I'm giving my win to Reagan. Okay, best girl. Hmm. Oh, so many good girls. 
I wouldn't mind if power wins. Himeno, Yoru Anya, Lucy, Chisato. Yeah, those are going to be my votes. So who? Who? Do you like the ghost in Mob? Yeah, I like him. Interesting. Kayla relates to Denji because they're both chasing Booba. <laughs> Mmm, best girl, best girl. Yoru Anya. And my vote has to go for Anya because she gave me just so much, so much happiness this year. I, I kind of in a biased way want to vote for Power just because her character is so entertaining. But Anya gave me so much joy this year. I'm going to vote for her. Okay, antagonist of the year. Hmm. Hmm. Yay! Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you, Sotos. Polar, I hope you feel very welcome to the community. Thank you, Sotos. He could have used that money to buy more wishes for Baiju, and instead he spends it here. I appreciate it. You voted Anya too? Oh, Hu Tao Main. Oh, that's why you gifted him. <laughs> okay, so for villain or antagonist of the year, I'm going to go with Yu Hovach because he interested me the most. Like, I am, I want to know more. And like, he, he shocked me and then intrigued me. And then like, you know, Katana Man is kind of like being controlled possibly. So, Ryuenna, mm, Kushidana. Enrico Pucci, actually, maybe my second vote for this year. Um, because I don't want to spoil you, so mute me, mute me until my hands go down. Mute me, mute me, mute me, mute, 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 mute. <gasps> Enrico Pucci, he kind of won. Kind of. Uh, but then it worked out for the best. So he was like, was he right? <laughs> No, I just find that very interesting and different. Cherry says, Shigaraki for me, since I haven't seen Bleach. My Damia has been awesome this season. I, I can understand that, but... I'm, I'm just... I think it's the fandom more than Shigaraki, which is annoying me. I'm annoyed when it comes to My Hair Academia with the fandom because such a big portion of it keep asking it, it's frustrating questions to me and then they don't answer. Like they don't expand on it. No, they don't. It's like they say things that are frustrating and then they don't expand on it. They're like, blah, 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 blah. And then if you want to understand, I'm, th this video is supposed to be short, so I'm not going to expand on it, but just look at this post here and then you'll understand my frustration on my community tab okay it's just a little bit frustrated but we'll see we'll see the story the the season is only halfway done so This one was easy. I picked Eins because he wins all the time. Oh, true, true. I love Eins too. He's a great antagonist. <laughs> Cherry said, not the Kayla. Cherry said, I haven't watched Bleach and Shigaraki in the same sentence. Kayla was so disappointed that her eyes almost killed someone. <laughs> okay, ship of the year. We have uh, um, Ichigo's parents, Lucy and David. Blah, blah. Denji and Makima. Jolene and Anasui. Uh, Shinomi and Shirogane. Marin and Gojo. Lloyd and Yoru. Vanitas and John. Uh, Zenitsu Nezuko. Erin and Mikasa. Mikasa and John. And Gabi and Falco. Mine is, has to go for Lloyd and Yoru. I super ship them. They're technically not in love yet. Kind of. They're definitely... They're definitely... They love their lives together with Anya. And, but... I, I want, I want it. So 
a little part of me. <laughs> I'm joking, Cherry. Don't say that. I talked to my brother only and we both love Shigaraki's development as a villain. Yeah, yeah, no. If you focus on that only. Mm -hmm. um, but for me, it's so difficult to separate my feelings sometimes from bigger fandoms because they're so vocal. So a little part of me wanted with Ship of the Year, a little part of me wanted to focus only on like established couples, you know, like Ishin and Masaki, Lucy and David, uh, Jolene and Asui, Denji and Makima actually had some romantic moments, but not really. It's more manipulative. Um, Marin and Gojo, Shinomi and Shirogane, like more established. Yuri's punch was very romantic. <laughs> I love the interaction of Vanitas and Jean. I had to pick them. Yeah, there, there, theirs was very special, but I'm still, I'm still a little bit. Vanitas still, mm, I don't know, I don't know. I'm scared she's gonna swing the other way and then leave John heartbroken. So I'm gonna wait. So I'm gonna go with Lloyd and Yuri still because they made me the happiest once again. Okay, best show in 2022 that I did not watch. I can't vote here because, but I can vote for the show that I would like to watch the most. So I'm going to say Call of the Night because I'm really intrigued in that art style. And yeah, mainly the art style. That's that's what pulls me into that. I'm quite interested in Bochi the Rock and the Eminence in Shadow because of kind of like the hype. But also Blue Lock for Sotos. So, But I'm going to go with Call of the Night. Mm -hmm. Tiago says Call of the Night good. Okay, best fight 1v1, Yamamoto versus Yuhavach. I can't even look at anything else because that is where, that's all that's in my mind. Okay, but let's read the rest. Mob versus, versus Reagan was amazing, but it wasn't really a fight fight, but you, it kind of was because Mob was, you know. Lloyd versus Yuri. There was two. There was a fight between them in the first part and then she punched him in the second part. Um... Chainsaw Man versus Katana Man, awesome. Unohana versus Kenpachi, awesome. Dimple versus Psycho Helmet, awesome. Tengen versus Gyutaro, awesome. 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. But Yamamoto versus Yuhawach, Yuhawach. That blew me away. But my second win would be Mob versus Reagan. <laughs> Okay, I'm going with Yamamoto versus Yuhawa. Okay, opening song of the year. Oh, God. Um, I did put post a poll here. Not a poll. I mean a... I posted here. It was shocking, yeah. The memes and reaction pics from Bochi are great. I want to watch it. Ooh. Attack on Titan, Bleach... Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Man's got me hyped. So I'm gonna, let's just write down which ones stand out to me first. Chainsaw Man. Attack on Titan and Bleach were good. Don't get me wrong. Everything was good, but I'm, I'm choosing a winner here, okay? Classroom on the Elite, Cyberpunk. Ooh, Cyberpunk. That got me hype. And the plus, uh, the band is Franz Ferdinand. So I'm a big fan, big fan. This took me so damn long. Curse you! <laughs> I should have made a playlist and shared the playlist. I think I did that before. Soto says, I was waiting for that Yamamoto fight for 10 years. I couldn't vote for anything else. Um, there is a second poll for ending songs, fairy. Second poll. Okay, so Stone Ocean, Love is War. Love is War was also very good. Mob was very good. Dress Up Darling had a great ending. As far as I remember, I don't remember the opening. Let's just listen to two, three seconds of it. I don't remember this one. Oh, fucking shitballs. It was nice. It was nice. But the ending was really nice. 
Okay, Overlords was very good. Overlord is a contender, top three. But but Bleach and Attack on Titan as well, but top five. Bleach, Attack on Titan. Uh, Sabiqui, Biscos. I, th I don't remember that one either. I don't think it's going to win that. I don't remember how it goes. Oh, it was pretty great. It was a really great opening, but maybe not the winner or contender. Spy Family. One was very good. Iconic, but maybe not. Ugh, there's just too many great ones here. Spy Family's second opening was a bump of chicken, so. <laughs> Makes me very happy. I will listen to it many times, but once again, it's really difficult. Vanitas had a great one. Devil is. Ooh, Kimetsu no Yaiba was also top five. I think I have six top fives now. We have fuck. Da 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 da. So good. Okay. Kimetsu no Yaiba. Okay, so. These are my tops. Chainsaw Man, Cyberpunk, Overlord, Bleach, Attack on Titan, Kimetsu no Yaba. I'm gonna go with Cyberpunk and Franz Ferdinand's fire. Okay, then ending song of the year. Attack on Titan, no. Bleaches, Bleach, 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 Bleach had a great one. that It just fit every ending perfectly for me. Chainsaw Man, oh, Chainsaw Man has great endings, but this in particular, there's only one included, the top one everyone voted for uh, over here on this poll. Yeah, well, there was a poll with the, with the top four most viewed endings, ending songs, plus one of the others. So uh, many were included here, so that could have easily gone past, but no, this one won. So... It's a crazy and to me it's 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 I understand the hype and I would not be mad if it won but it's not my number one but I would not be mad if it won cuz it it also deserves it. Okay, so then we have Clash of the Elite, Cyberpunk, Roundabout, very very memorable, very Like it completes it. If you've if you've been with with uh, judges for so long, it really is a great end. Bleach was a pretty easy pick for the ED. China opening, but I had to pick Souvenir because I listened to it so many times on Spotify. Um. Wait, oh, Dress Up Darling is a, is a strong contender because of the music video. Oh, mother of God! Why do you start th this bitch face? No, I don't wanna. That's not what I came here to see. Guys, imagine thinking you're gonna see this. And then you see the creepy demon doll. I mean, this is fantastic. This is fantastic. Dress up, darling. It's. I know it's about the song, really, honestly. But... Mm, mm, I don't like horror movies. Get lost, creepy doll. Um, then we have Overlord. I don't remember. How does it go again? Oh, it was very good, but not as great as the opening. Um, Sabi Kui had a very good one, but... Not as memorable. Shield here, Liko Liko, My Hero Academia. My Hero Academia was also perfect at the end of every episode. And Kimetsu no Yaiba. Oh, that was also very good. But yeah, I'm going to go with Bleach. To me, my top three would be Bleach, Dress Up Darling, and the Chainsaw Man one from a more objective perspective. Okay, but I'm going with a Bleach here. Uh, which one is Bleach? What is the name again? Uh, Sai Hate. 
I had this, I had this, this one, the second one. I specifically didn't put the anime name except there by accident. I specifically didn't put the anime name because I wanted people to like look it up. I don't just want people to vote for, ooh, Attack on Titan has to win everything or um, pa uh, d d d d Chainsaw Man has to win everything. I didn't just want people voting like that. I wanted them to look it up. So those are, ow, I just hurt my boob. Those are my winners. Then there is also, I haven't posted this to YouTube yet, but I will. Um, there is a, 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 a One Piece category. So let me just add that. Uh, so I've posted it already. I didn't expect this, but I'm pleasantly surprised. Oh, that's about Avatar. My avatar reactions. Okay, so here we go. A 2021 category that everyone can vote for. I will post it to YouTube, but there's one poll that only will be for patrons because patrons saw my reactions. Um, and that my YouTube viewers did not see all my reactions. So Basically, the poll is best reaction moment from 2022. And the one that is winning by far at the moment is Luffy unleashing Ryo versus Kaido for the first time. And honestly, I don't think I had a great reaction there. I don't even remember my reaction, what it was. Um, I can remember my reactions to... Let me show you. I can remember my reaction to Big Mom gets Caramel's power. I can rea remember my reaction to a lot of Sanji and Pudding moments. I can remember my reaction to the Zoro, uh, the Zoro, Straw Hats getting together at the end of episode 1000. Um, I don't remember Luffy unleashing Ryo versus Kaido for the first time. I don't remember my reaction. I remember my reaction to Luffy and Zoro reuniting. I remember my reaction Sanji and Zoro getting together to protect Otoko for the first time. Otoko. Uh, I, I remember my reaction to Jinbei appearing in Wano. Uh, I don't remember my reaction here. Kind of. I remember Zoro stopping the, t the attack of two emperors. Roger versus Whitebeard. Not really. Rough towel reveal. I mean, I don't remember it. Do I? I don't remember my reaction. Robin snapping Black Maria. That was more recent. Um, even Shanks meets the Gorosei, I remember that more. So yeah, I don't remember that being a memorable reaction moment either. Jinbei is the one that stood out to me most, hence why I suggested it. <laughs> you rewatched Luffy Hug Zoro like four times. It would have been sus not to remember it. Yeah, so I feel like people are more voting for a cool moment and not necessarily my reaction, which is what it should be about. But at the end of the day, I can't control what people vote or so it's fine. I just hope because that reaction should be, I, I, I'm going to look back on it. So I hope I have a good reaction. Otherwise, it's going to be like, bwah, bwah, you know, so for me. It's either Jinbei appears in Wano or Luffy and Zoro unite, reunite. Or Straw Hats get together at the end of episode 1000. That made me very happy. I'm going to go with Luffy and Zoro reunite. Although I might change it eventually to Jinbei. <laughs> okay, so here are the One Piece awards which will be shared to YouTube soon. Best boy in 2022. I'm going to go with Jinbei because he joined the crew. Best girl, Nami. <laughs> because I'm biased. And uh, she protected Otama-chan. Maybe next time you or do you could add the episode number for the moment. So people can at least go check. I highly doubt they would. Sadly. But yes, we can do that next time. 
arc of the year, um, I'm going to vote Reverie because of all the reveals and getting to see so many great characters again. Although I really loved Pudding from Whole Cake Island. I'm probably going to choose her as best supporting character. But the Wano, the beginning of Wano, part one and part two. Part three, uh, they're stretching it out a bit. Why fuck me? What did I do? Oh, because I didn't vote for Robin. <laughs> Yeah, Luffy is always best boy and he's probably going to win. But I want to vote for Jim Bay because I'm so happy that he joined the crew. <laughs> how dare! IRL waifu, yeah, how dare! <laughs> um, so I want to say Reverie. I'm going to say Reverie because Wano is probably going to win and it does deserve to win because of so much greatness. But I'm going to vote Reverie because... So much greatness packed into so so small amount of episodes. Plus, I got to see the manga only version. What was it called? The the short version, One Piece cut. So we want to know who will win. <laughs> the rough tell. I think you mentioned you've been spoiled, and it said the reaction wasn't much. But I mean, wasn't it the movie that spoiled me? Oh, someone in the comments. I remember something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, One Pace. I watched One Pace. Okay, so I'm going to go with Reverie, but only because I know Wano is going to win. So technically, I think Wano. But I'm, I'm holding my vote back because of the last part of Wano. I should have split it. Wano part one, Wano part two, Wano part three, but whatever. Oh, I watched the movie after that part. Then it was a comment. It was a comment. Mm -mm. It was a very annoying, like, know-it-all comment. Like, actually, rough tell should be spelled like the L and the R and laughed hail and blah, 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 blah. Very annoying. Best supporting character, I'm, I'm leaning towards Pudding. She really made a big impression on me this year. Beji, Reiju, Lo, Marco, Marco and Lo, of course, amazing. Otama, Yasue, Yasue, amazing. Odin, amazing. Like, I love uh, many of these supporting characters, but Pudding really took the cake. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, antagonist of the year. Hmm. Katakuri, Big Mom, Kaido. Queen, King, Judgy, Hawkins. I'm going to go with Big Mom because she, the, her backstory blew my mind. I love Big Mom. I'm going to vote Big Mom. And then Best Fight. Ooh. Ooh, how can you vote for anything other than Luffy, Zoro, Law, Kid, and Killer? All of them versus Big Mom and Kaido and not winning. Like, that's awesome. I know it sucks that our side isn't winning, but it's also so cool that everyone is fighting together. Like, all the biggest baddies strongest you know and they couldn't take down the two of them like that is that is realistic that is good you know how did you fall for her backstory twice i can't what did i do fall twice okay um luffy versus katakuri was awesome luffy versus kaido and wano zoro versus killer luffy versus kaido on the roof Zoro versus Hawkins, Robin versus Black Maria, Akazaya 9 versus Kaido, Jembe versus Who's Who. To me, by far, it has to be Luffy, Zoro, Law, and Kid and Killer versus Big Mom. So, those are my own votes on my own polls. Um, please make sure I will put the links in the description so you guys can vote as well. Whenever I hear you say baddies, I picture the mentioned character with fake lashes and long thick nails. Yeah. <laughs> the baddest girl. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was such a great meme, honestly. Mother Carmel and the picnic at the end. Both times she thought everything was amazing. Yeah, true that. True that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me end the video here. Thank you guys for being here on my YouTube channel and the supporting me. I'll see you guys um, in the next live stream. 
when I, I I'm going to react to the results. So I'm not going to check the re results. There will be no videos like, oh, this year, this one won and this one won. I'm not going to be able to prepare videos like drum roll, please da -da 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 -da, play the video. No, it's going to be boring. I'm just going to, I think it would, it's a reaction channel. So I'm just going to, for the first time, go through the polls and the results and then boom. I think so. I, I might change my mind, but that's kind of how I feel at the moment. Okay. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.